Today we're going to look at a pump housing assembly for a 1999 Sea-Doo GSX. When you look inside, you'll notice the two tubes on the top. Those are called Venturi tubes. There's also a cone that holds grease. Also attached to the assembly is an arm for the steering, that would be the one on the right, and an arm for the VST, the variable trim system, that would be the arm on the top. Once the arms are removed and the four bolts removed, the assembly can be disconnected. Here's a close-up of the steering arm. Surprise! Here's what I found when removing the assembly. Here's something that was just wrapped around the shaft. You can just cut that off. Here are the Venturi washers that you want to keep track of. Here's a look at the complete assembly. There's the pump assembly at the top, which holds the impeller, which creates thrust. And then there's the steering assembly in the bottom, which controls which direction the thrust is moving. assembly with the impeller and a rubber seal that goes against the drive shaft. There are four bolts that separate the steering assembly and the pump assembly. After inspecting the propeller and the wear ring, I didn't find a need for disassembly. I'm looking for dings and chips in the impeller or play if we pull another bit. I'm looking for chips or signs of scoring in the wear ring. In this case, I didn't find anything, so I don't need to do anything further. After I'm doing this Allen bolt, you'll be able to drain the gear. so all the gear well gets removed. Now the cone can be removed for inspection. In this case, there was no signs of leaking gear oil and the seals looked fine. Once the cap goes back on, don't forget to fill it with gear oil. Tip it back and forth to dislodge bubbles when filling it with the gear oil. Time for reassembly of the pump to the transom. Make sure your Venturi washers are in place. They're the three on the top. The issue that you'll have is lining up the drive shaft to the impeller. The drive shaft needs to be in the center. I ended up wrapping a ratchet strap around the drive shaft and securing it to the top of the jet ski to center it. You might have to spin the propeller to line up the splines. Once the pump assembly is in place, simply wiggle the straps and pull on one end and the strap should come out. Tighten the four bolts and attach the steering assembly and you're done.